weekend do you feel like you've been building towards a fourth quarter performance like that? Um, yeah, look, I think last week was really positive for us, the way we went about it. We, you know, we missed in the end, but we're playing a pretty good side and we were pretty strong right to the end. And I thought today, uh, you know, we built on that again where we, you know, we, we still make some mistakes. There's no doubt about that, but we uh, were pretty honest for four quarters, I thought. How pleasing was the, the midfield performance, obviously, with Max Gerald dominating the ruck, but I think you might have seen clearances and clearances. Yeah, I think it's been undersold a little bit how good they've been, Michael and Buddha and the boys, uh, over the last four or five weeks, to be fair. I mean, we've come up against some big rucks, some dominant rucks, and, you know, that just shows you grunt and you're prepared to stay down and dirty, and that's what we have to be at the moment, that's what we have to continue to be. It feels a little bit like that's how you're turning a game around a little bit. You're really unselfish, the way you play in the midfield, and, but even in the forward line, I thought Chad was outstanding without kicking a bag of balls and taking space. Yeah, well, I suppose, Jasper, that's what we have to be, isn't it? We, we haven't got an enormous amount of top-end talent, I don't think, on display most weeks. We're just pretty solid, and mm. if we bring that same sort of level of intensity and effort, We'll become a bit more consistent. That's still our issue. We're only five and five. We're not. We're not mo no better than that. So we're just a 50-50 still at the moment. Please, um, is there more precise ball movement today? Felt like you were sort of kicking some pinpoint kicks. Yeah, well, I felt like we controlled our ball movement a bit better today. I think that was important. This is good. Good ground to play on. You know, coming up here at Alice Springs, we love coming up here. It's a big open ground. Gives you some room to move for us. And you know, uh, the boys took some easier options. I thought that that set us going a little bit, and then they were able to put the game where they wanted to. And as I said, uh, you know, we took, I think, somewhere 90, 100 marks, which we've struggled to take marks this year, so it's good for us. You paid a bit of attention to controlling the pace of the game too, haven't you? I noticed you are <coughs> playing slower on purpose at times, and, and other times rolling the dice a little bit. Um, yeah, well, I think we do that most. I think we do do that, try to do that most weeks. Every side does, I think. So we, you know, but perhaps today we're able to do it just a little bit more effectively. And as you said, mark the ball, that helps you. Yep. You can take some marks, it buys you a bit of composure. And we haven't been the most composed team going around this year. Mm. That's your third win uh, in Alice Springs in a row. So yes, we could play here next week. <laughs> <laughs> becoming a bit of a happy hunting ground. The boys sort of enjoy coming here. Yeah, I just said to Ollie, Ollie and I, since we've been at the club at the same time, we've had four wins here at Alice Springs. We've had four games and four wins. We won a NAB Cup game in our first year and then. We've won our last three games up here, so yeah, we're really happy to come up here and we enjoy the environment. The locals look after us. You know, we've got a, a strong Port Adelaide feel about everything up here, so it was good for us to come up here and good that um, you know that we could get the win. And the, and the conditions on the field, um, the boys sort of um, enjoy playing on the field. As well. Yeah, as I said, it's a great surface. It's a really big surface and it's, it suits us down to the ground a bit. And you know, and people sometimes when you say you're going to Alice Springs, they think it's going to be really hot. Well, this is the perfect time of the year to play a game up here. There's no humidity, there's no, no the grass is magnificent. It's it's conducive to good fast footy, and we're able to do that today. Charlie kicks it bad, and he's, he's looking more and more at home in the side. I guess. Yeah, I, I think I think Charlie's been very good. Yeah. I know, I, you know, our form mm. being inconsistent is probably hidden away some of Charlie's work, I reckon. I think um, we couldn't be more pleased with Charlie Dixon, what he's brought to our football club and you know, the maturity of the person, the way he's grown as, as a man as well as a player. I think he's, he's just he's in starting to enjoy what, what living in a state of football is in Port Adelaide and you know, he's, he's delivered today some goals, but what he delivers every week is a fair income contest and that's what we love. So his work ethic to, to work backwards towards goal as well and you know, get a springboard off half back. That's something probably people don't pick up on TV a bit, but he worked pretty hard. Yeah, no, his team cares elite. You know, as I said we, um, early when Charlie came to our club, I said our, I know our boys will get very, very quickly in love with Charlie, the way he works for their team and you know, he certainly shows that regularly. And, Fiercely competes on ground or in the air, and he, and he he's, you know, he just wants the team to do well. And Darcy, I think I made a note that maybe the um, Rising Star selection. That ward's not on anymore, is it? Hey? Does that ward still out there? I think it is. <coughs> well, he's played eight of the best first games you'll ever see, and uh, he still hasn't he still hasn't got the nod. It's, it's quite strange that. I suppose he's a late pick. Maybe that's why I'm not sure, but he deserves to be. Terrific, though, he deserves to be acknowledge that he's had eight great games now. I hope that doesn't put the moz on him, but he's been really good for us. Mm. Skipper's copped a bit of criticism, but you see it was pretty important, especially in that third quarter. Yeah, I think we all have, and we deserve it. We don't, we don't hide it. We're not going to hide away and shy away from the fact that we haven't um, delivered consistently the performance that we need to. And if that's, that's, that's the environment you live in, you should be big enough to handle that. Now, the key for us now is to just keep working to become consistent, because we know our good stuff is good. Uh, and unfortunately for us, we, we've been you know, a few things going against us that we can't help, but there's been things go against us that we certainly could help. How do you, uh, sorry, okay. how do you look at the rest of the year? Um, some coaches talk about you know chalking up wins. We need to get 12 or 13 and so on. Others talk about holding the head above water, as in keeping close to level. Five and five is okay. 
four or six a month. That's what I think. How, how do you look at it? I look at it based on our effort every week. Now, whether we get a win or a loss, obviously is significant and important, but you know, if you watch the way you play and you think you can be proud of the way you play, I think, you know, I said that to the boys at the start of the year, I want to be proud of the way we play week in, week out. Uh, we haven't been able to say that about ourselves this year, and that's why we're five and five. So I don't look at the wins and losses, I don't build, you know, you've got to win next week, you've got to win this week. Mm. We've just got to play to our level every week. So, uh, Ken, two, two, two years ago you, you missed out in the grand final by half a goal. Where, 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 whereabouts are you now? Uh, two years ahead. We, we, don't, we don't like looking back. It's a really risky yeah. thing to, to worry about what you were or what you were. The competition's changed enormously in two years. Uh, right now we're five and five and we're trying to work our way into our season with some honest performance. Typical Howard, that's a bit sore at the end, is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. I don't think there's anyone that's too, too risky. I'm sure cramped or a little bit of a hamstring cramp at the end, so we'll wait and see what that looks like. But other than that, we, we were pretty, pretty good. Coming into the game, Melbourne were a really high scoring side uh, with their ball movement. Um, pretty well today, I thought. Um, so you happy with your defence? Yeah, really happy because I think they've been averaging about 106 or 107 points a game. I think we 76 or something, I think they might have got, something like that. So we've kept them five goals under their best and, and we're able to score heavily ourselves. So that's the perfect game, isn't it? If you've got your defence right and obviously your offence can get the work done. Because I thought today, even during the game, we had chances to even be a bit better, I thought. A bit cleaner and a bit sharper with our finish, and we, we let a couple of goals go through that the boys wouldn't be happy with, not, not the lone me, they wouldn't be happy with. All good? Thank you for having us. Look forward to seeing you again.